Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial and in this video guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to take a screenshot. So let's say that you want to uh, make a thumbnail out of a screenshot, uh, like from a part from a video in Vegas 14. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it right now in this video and also guys, make sure to hang tight in the end of this video, I will announce something amazing. So make sure to stay tuned for that and let's start off with actual video. So as you guys can see right now, I don't have anything in Vegas, so I'm just, I'm just going to go to uh, media generators. I'm just going to pick a random checkerboard as you can see right here and let's say that I want to have a screenshot out of this now there's no way that you're going to press print screen next to f12 open paint and then just go ahead and start uh like going like this and select everything it just doesn't work like I have a be way better, I have a way better way, oh, that's weird, but I have a way better technique to do this. So don't go ahead and mess around and paint. The only thing you need to do is go to above the preview screen, we have this kind of icon, which is a little diskette and it says save snapshot to file. So th that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm just going to click on there. Then we're going to go to our desktop and I'm just going to save this. I would say screenshot. We made a picture on the desktop, which is called screenshot. And this is how you do it. I also also had some people commenting on my videos like saying like just render this out <clears throat> as a uh, JPEG or PNG well guys I'm gonna warn you every frame that you have in your video is going to be an image so if I have uh, like a checkerboard this long you would expect one image but if you go ahead and render this out you will have 592 images of this uh, checkerboard that's not what you want so the, the thing you need to do is like let's say that you want to have a screenshot and you want to render it out as jpeg or png don't go ahead and start using this method because as you no know, as many frames as it says right there you will have that amount of screenshots so or, or pictures so what we're going to do is we're going to all the way drag this all the way to the beginning and even we're going to zoom in until we can't zoom in any further as you can see because this picture needs to be only one frame so we're going to go to the beginning as you can see we're going to move our um arrow key to the right one time and that's going to be or one frame so as you can see right now it says frame one so it will render out one image so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna go over to file we're gonna go to render as we're not gonna pick a video uh, format so I'm just gonna go up to uh, the top and let's say I'm gonna pick image sequence we're gonna click on there and then you can choose JPEG or PNG it doesn't really matter so I'm just gonna call I'm just gonna pick PNG I'm gonna call this screenshot two like that then we're gonna just browse it and save it to our desktop click on render as and as you can see if we open up the folder we have only one image as you can see it says screenshots 2 now I'm gonna make a new folder I'm just gonna click on new I'm gonna click a new folder I'm gonna I'm gonna call this screenshots I'm gonna show you guys what happens if you you know render out one more more than one frame so as you guys can see if I drag it all the way I, I, would, I would say across this this will create 88 pictures this is 88 frames long so we're gonna select everything go over to file uh, render as pick JPEG I'm gonna save it in that folder so I can delete them so my desktop is not all over the place I'm gonna pick screenshots I'm gonna call this test I'm gonna click on save render and as you can see if I open up that folder as you guys clearly can see it made 88 pictures this is not what you want so this is basically the way to do it make it one frame long or just go to the diskette icon above the preview screen and that's how you do it guys it is that simple so that's it for the video thank you guys for the support and the awesome news is deep web monday will come back uh, starting january january 30 so make sure to hang tight for that i'm so stoked to start up picking up picking up that series again so that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys tomorrow just alex helford Oh,